So in this drag review, uh, second question, we're looking at a very small steel sphere, so like something a ball bearing, and um, moving in a cylinder of corn syrup, and it takes the ball about four and a half seconds to travel 20 centimeters. So it's a very small object moving uh, quite slowly, and we are assuming the ball reaches its terminal speed instantaneously. So these are all cues that this is sort of a low Reynolds number uh, drag question. So ignoring the buoyant force, so once any object that's in a fluid does experience an upward buoyant force, but if you have not studied uh, buoyancy uh, at this point, then this is why we're ignoring the buoyant forces uh, in, in this question. But there is definitely a non-zero buoyant force on the, on the sphere, but let's ignore that for now. So if it's falling, uh, we're just going to assume that there's, only, there's an upward drag and a downward weight force, and if it's falling at its terminal speed, again, the net force on the object must be zero. So the um, we can set the drag force equal to the weight force. And like the last question, question one, and but this time the drag equation needs to be for low Reynolds number. So again, I would set the drag magnitude equal to the weight magnitude but in this case the drag force is 6 pi eta or V and this is equal to mg so we're trying to find the uh, viscosity of the corn syrup solution so we're trying to isolate eta here so eta will be equal to mg divided by 6 pi or times V and let's think about what we have, of course, at g, 6 pi are all constants. We have the diameter, so we can figure out the radius. Uh, the speed, we have the distance traveled and, and the time taken, assuming it's moving at a constant terminal speed. So, and the mass, we can figure out from uh, the geometry of the sphere and the density. So. Um, we can solve for all these three quantities. So if we think about it, I'll just do this on the side here. So R will be equal to 0.5 millimeters. That's 0.5 per 10 to the minus 3 meters. So half a millimeter, because the diameter is, is a millimeter. The velocity, again, has to be in the correct units. So it's going to be equal to delta Y over delta T. So that's 0.2 meters over 4.47 seconds. So I haven't calculated that previously. It's quite small. It's 0.0045. 0.5 meters per second. So again, so it's moving very slowly. Um, and it's very small, so this again is what we can think of as a low Reynolds uh, number uh, dry question. And then the, the the mass is a little more challenging, so the mass is going to be equal to rho times the volume, and um, as rho is mass over volume, and it's a sphere, so the mass will be the density times uh, four thirds pi r cubed. And this will be a very uh, small uh, mass, given us how small the bearing is, even though the density is quite large, it will be a very small mass. So we have the R, we have the V, and we can solve for the mass. And once you substitute these in these quantities into this expression for mg over 6 pi R times V, the eta should work out to be choice E, 90 by 10 to the minus 2 Pascal seconds. Which should be the viscosity. So it's uh, definitely more, significantly more viscous than water and uh, corn syrup. And, and this is a reasonable value for uh, viscosity. So choice E is the correct answer.